good evening. I just wanted to have a quick chat, a little Briggsy Chats session, and this is all about upcoming videos, training runs, a whole heap of things, and this is the second time I'm recording this because I felt like I was talking for too much and not on subject enough. I will start off somewhat the same and be like, I don't want to keep saying how bad my mental health is because I really think it is so much better now. And I think in particular, the relationship between Courtney and I has improved quite a lot and our friendship is so much better now, I should say, after we managed to spend some time together a couple of weeks ago. And I don't want to keep saying in videos that my mental health is shit because it's like, to some degree, everyone's mental health is doing shit, but I really think everyone's doing the best that they can and I want everyone to stay strong. That's why I say, stay strong. You've got this. That's why I got it tattooed on my arms. I love those words. And... <laughs> I'm kind of going off again, similar to the last recording of this, but I just wanted to say that, and I'm proud of Courtney for everything that she's done, and I'm proud of myself for everything that I've done. But I want to get to the nitty-gritty of my training. So this is week 11, and the last video I put up was of a run in week 6. And the weekend that's just gone, I've managed to do a 45-kilometre run, where the last five kilometers were the fastest out of all of them and then backed it up with a 25 kilometer run the next day. Now a lot of the videos I've been recording like Walhalla, there was a, a segment that I've pulled out from when I was training for my 100k where I was feeding the magpies and now going out to Ballara and doing a run from Ballara to Mubu North and back after a 45k run. I was reminiscent of when I went out there during my 100k training and I think this was just an ordinary run. I can't recall having it back to back with another long run but I was struggling at the 6k mark before I even getting to Dala Merla and I said that I don't know how I'm going to get through 100 kilometers if I can't even do one of these. So it's like I have come so freaking far and I'm proud of that and I think I'm in the best shape I could ever be in to be able to do 100 miles with some kilometers still to go before then so I still have to be sensible which is where I'll lead to what started today and today was the start of the push-up challenge. Now the push-up challenge has been a big part for mental health support for many years. It's been six years in a row that I have participated in the push-up challenge and last year I didn't do it in its entirety so I wanted to make it up this year especially because Lifeline has been such a big part of this year for me. Having the Wes to go and just have a chat to someone because I don't think I've ever been this alone before and I don't mean that in a bad way but it's like <sighs> this training is tremendously hard and that's why I didn't run this uh, Tuesday that just went because it's like I needed one day where I'm not doing anything and it's extremely hard for me to not do something but sorry about the mic bump but I just had to do it so I want to do videos for the push-up challenge but I need to be reminded that I'm training for 105 miles Yes, I want this to be special, but I'm not going to be uploading a video every day for the push-up challenge. I'm going to do my best to record every day, but those videos aren't going to be processed until after the push-up challenge is done. Now, 
I get it. A lot of people will want to see it as it's happening. And I think very few people will broadcast an event after it's been completed. So I think that's where it will be special. I'll have the time after my miler, after my cruise, and I can make it something special. I really want the videos to be good because it's like at the end of the day, like I have a look at today, Wednesday. This is the big day for me every week. I wake up. And for example, today, 16 kilometers before work and then 52 push-ups, recording the push-ups, uh, going to work and uh, also supporting people with that because I've got the team challenge with Aussie Broadband again. And then go through work, go to the gym and I've spent effectively two hours at the gym by the time I warm up do the sets, cool down, stretch, come home, shower, eat, all that stuff. It's a long time. It's a lot of time out of my day. And I look at it now, it's eight o'clock and I haven't really, I've stopped to eat, had a shower and all that. But to think that I was going to do a video edit, yes, I'm going to do one very quickly for this. I'm not going to do anything fancy. There'll be like the intro and now this, that's it. And to think I was going to do a video edit every day for the push-up challenge would have, it would have sacrificed rest and I need to just recover. There's a lot to do between now and the uh, end of the week or end of this training. Not this weekend coming. Not next week. Yeah, this weekend coming, I've got like a 38k run, I think, or 32, somewhere there. So that is what it is. It's not too bad. But there's one week coming up where it's a 50 kilometer run on a Saturday and then a 30 kilometer run on a Sunday. And that's back to back. That is massive. And I really want those to go well. So... I want to do another double video for that surprise the 45 and the 25 I've just done I'm going to put them in both one video because I just think that will be awesome but getting back to the push-up challenge doing the push-up challenge videos takes a long time and I want to have it so that it is like previous years I want to have like a counter up here or right over there somewhere and it's going to be counting each rep that I do now I don't know how to make it easier for myself to do that but effectively what I have to do is I get I basically set it up how I want the numbers to look and I stretch it across the whole video and I just have like a number one I'll start with zero and then one and then have it continue along and I basically lock that time frame and then I go back to the start and every time it's like okay I'm here one or one whatever way I decide to count it and then I have to cut the timelines for each of those push-ups and it takes a long time like when you're going frame by frame potentially or even just rough guides for when it hits the bottom of the push-up and then to go back and then manually type in or retype the number so that's corresponding with the push-up you've done it takes a long time and I could probably spend at least an hour on each video to um get that stuff done so if I had a video editor that would be fantastic I could just record and upload stuff and then they could do the edits but I don't have that kind of resources do I so I want to do those after my run I don't want to be doing edits throughout the week. So I think even now I'm not going to do this tonight anymore. I'm just going to get this recorded and I'm going to go play a game. I'll see if Doggy wants to play Diablo or something. I'm still not looking at the camera enough. So 
I just wanted to say that there's a lot coming up. I don't want you guys to miss out on any videos and I just want everything to go well. The big picture here is the 100 miles. Yes, the push-up challenge is important to me, but I have to remember I've been spending a long time on these push-ups. I mean, not the push-ups, the running. Even to the point where there's like a uh, ultra in like a couple of weeks and it's a last man standing thing. It starts 10 o'clock on a Friday and it's like, oh, I'd love to do that. And that's on the weekend where I have to run like 80 kilometers. And if the timing was a little bit different where it would start on the Saturday, I would probably do it. Um, but that's not the case unfortunately and I want more practice running in the night and when it starts at 10 a.m and I'm only going to go my allotted kilometers it's like 12 hours and the consistency is key I need to be keep I need to keep doing what I've been doing because it's bloody well working and I'm so close I just have to I have to stay strong myself because I've got this I really think this is the year that this is going to happen. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. There's a, well, the camera doesn't want to, you want to say, no. Bye-bye kitty. Tail to the eyeball. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to bother re recording this again. I'm going to do this edit on the weekend quickly and that's it because I just want to play games. I need to upload these videos onto my computer and sort them out so that I can get ready for tomorrow. So for now everyone, have a great night. Uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message. Um, take it easy, stay strong. You've all got this.